Our investigation into the Red Cross started when the website crashed, frustrating Harvey victims. Then we went to Washington in search of answers on the national level. And now tonight, we are hearing straight from the CEO herself. And we're getting those answers tonight on this one month mark since Harvey. Among our questions to the Red Cross leader, how is the money being spent? And will she open up the charity's financial records? Our newest member of the Channel 2 Investigates team spoke with CEO Gail McGovern one on one. Mario Diaz, welcome to the team, sir. Thank you very much for the welcome, Dominique and Bill. Very glad to be back home here in Houston. Now, let's get to business here. This story is not about the trail of debris that we've seen throughout Houston here in recent weeks. This is about the money trail. And this is something that has dodged the CEO of the Red Cross, Gail McGovern, for quite some time. They had questions about their operations following Superstorm Sandy in 2012. After last year, Louisiana, with their flooding in the summer of 2016. And now there are questions about how they are conducting business here in Houston. How many hours were you here in Houston in the aftermath of Harvey? I was there for two days in Houston. By any chance, did you happen to stay at the St. Regis? No, I did not. Red Cross CEO Gail McGovern was defensive after questions emerged about where Red Cross workers stayed during recovery efforts. Uh, McGovern admits we were volunteers were lodged at one of Houston's most luxurious hotels, the St. Regis, adding it was cost effective. There were two, three, four people in those hotel rooms, and um, we got a wonderful discount. McGovern quickly pivoted to what she says are volunteers currently sleeping in tents or other tight quarters. Volunteers are in staff shelters, sleeping together with cots that are right next to each other. You have volunteers staying at the St. Regis, and it's on your watch. How is this not interpreted as a misappropriation of funds? Because we have several volunteers in each room right. and we got a discount on that hotel. The Red Cross says it has spent $100 million of the Harvey Relief money thus far, with 91 cents of every dollar going to services. What the charity does not provide is a dollar for dollar breakdown. This lack of transparency in the past is why Republican Senator Chuck Grassley of Iowa and Democratic Congressman Benny Thompson of Mississippi introduced legislation last March calling for the Red Cross to open up its financial records. Are you willing to open up your books and show exactly how every dollar is being spent here in Houston? We do that for every disaster. We provide stewardships with where the money is spent. I, I ask, ma'am, are you willing to open up your books? Because right now, ma'am. Bureau, from check. Yes, yes. A lot of people want to see exactly how they're spending money, especially residents along this street who say that they only saw the Red Cross once, very quickly in the storm's aftermath. Um, we're gonna stay on the Red Cross. We're gonna continue to ask them questions about how they are spending taxpayer, excuse me, donations here in the Houston area to the penny. Um, and for more on this spirited exchange, you can go to the KPRC Facebook page. But for now, I'm Mario Diaz reporting for KPRC Channel 2 News. Well, Mario, I have an email in my inbox right now from somebody who wants to know how come they cannot access that website. They've been trying all day long for that $400 and still have not been able to access it. Bill, I was on the phone last night with a gentleman. He was on the phone all day yesterday, more than eight hours. He called me on the way to this location about an hour ago. He said, I was on the phone all day. They finally answered my questions. He's a 64-year-old disabled. Uh, he's on disability, I should say. That is the issue here. It's not working perfectly. They've done this before. This is not the first time. They're experienced at this. However, Considering what's going on with getting the assistance, it shows that they're having issues, key issues, once again, and it's impacting, of course, Houstonians. All right, Mario Diaz, thank you very much, sir.